What a jubilant day. Were we right? Carnival Cruise Line has shared the cruise director for the Carnival Jubilee, and we will share who it is going to be on the show today. Many of you have guessed who you think it's going to be. Were you right? We're going to see on the show today. Plus, we're sharing news regarding free cruises for teachers, police officers, firefighters, as one cruise line brings back a very popular promotion that they did last year. They're doing it this year as well. We're also going to talk about what happens on a cruise does not stay on a cruise. There is a notion, and you've probably heard it before, that what happens on a cruise stays on a cruise. That may be true for the most part and for some things, but for illegal acts, it is not true. We will share a story with you today uh, of something that took place on a cruise ship, did not stay on a cruise ship as it should not have. We'll also share some uh, experiences we've had over the years of things that are just different and strange. You'll have an opportunity to share yours as well. Lastly today, Royal Caribbean is sharing they have a new dining experience on board their new icon of the seas. The experience is three hours in length. The experience is going to be somewhere around $200 per person for dinner. That's right. The grocery bill that you pay for the entire week is actually going to be for one meal. We're going to share that experience and, and ask the question, is it worth it? We all need some time in the islands. Let's go there now on Island Time. A big happy Wednesday to all you Islanders. We are halfway through the week and we hope that you're having a great day. We are on Island Time. I am Derek. Let's drop our anchors and take some time to relax in the islands together as we share a boatload, a shipload of cruise news for today. We hope that you brought your appetite. We have a lot to share with you. If you'd like to stay up to date with the latest in cruising and cruise news and cruise experiences, be sure you've subscribed to the channel and go ahead and ring that bell so that you will receive notifications when we upload content. Let's lead off the show with this today for months and months and months and months and months. All of us have assumed we have guessed. We have said that Kendall Fire will eventually be named Cruise Director of the Carnival Jubilee. And Carnival has released today the Cruise Director of the Carnival Jubilee. And it is indeed Kendall Fire. Uh, congratulations to Kendall Fire. She has worked her tail off. A girl from Texas and what a story she has, right? She cruised with her family when she was a child. She enjoyed cruising like all of us do. And she thought you know what, I would love to work on cruise ships one day. She went to college, she got a degree, and she is a cruise director. She has worked her way up through the system. She is so engaging. She is so personable. She is everywhere. Uh, and it's great to see her continue to move up and do great things. And now she gets to be the cruise director of the flag flagship of her home state of Texas. How did she keep it a secret? I don't know. We are so excited to cruise with Kendall again. We have done it multiple times. One of the more memorable ones was she was cruise director on the Vista as cruising was restarting in July of 2021. And now here she is again. We are so excited to cruise with Kendall. For all of you who are selling on the Carnival Jubilee, the first several four to six months, she's going to be on board. Let me ask you this, Islanders. Have you cruised with Kendall Fire before or her partner, Joey. Hello, Joey. That was terrible. Joey is awesome as well. He's now a cruise director as well after working in on, with the entertainment staff for many years. If you've cruised with Kendall, be sure to share your experiences. Uh, let everyone know uh, how personable she is in the comment section below. Uh, and of course, uh, say congratulations to her in the comment section below as well. Let's quickly move on to our next cruise news story. Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville at Sea is offering educators, first responders, firefighters, policemen, uh, EMS personnel a free cruise with a discounted rate for the second person in their cabin. Margaritaville at Sea, back to school. Back to Sea is what the program is called. Here's what they had to say about this program. With school back in session, Margarita Villa at Sea is sending a special thank you to teachers, support staff, employees by offering an incredible rate to enjoy a quick getaway to the Caribbean. Educators can sell for free, and the $49 uh, rate is going to be applied to whoever they bring with them. They can bring one person with them. Of course, it is an interior cabin. The guest is still responsible for port taxes and fees, so there are still some costs associated with this, uh, but travelers must book by August the 28th. That is not very long from now. You have to travel uh, by November the 15th, which is tough because school is in session. It is a two-night cruise. It's on Margaritaville at Sea's only ship, 
Uh, we saw a lot of people take advantage of this last year. We saw a lot of people who are already going on another cruise and they paired this with it. Uh, free cruises. It's something that's interesting that Margaritaville at Sea does. Uh, we hope that some of you are able to take advantage of it. Sometimes I see stories like this and I'm like, should I share this? But based on what happened last year, we had over a dozen islanders uh, take Margaritaville at Sea up on this offer and take the service. So if you're close to Florida, if you're in the area, you can do this. Please do it and let us know if you do. We would love that. Let's move on to cruise news story number three on the show today. What happens on a ship does not always stay on a ship. Some people laugh when we say what happens on a ship stays on a ship, right? Sometimes things like that do happen. People act different when they vacation on land or on a cruise. People may not partake of alcohol while they're at home, but maybe they have a few drinks when they're on a cruise. They don't want pictures shared and things like that. People live a little bit more free and that's the way cruising is supposed to be, right? But there are things that happen on a ship that don't need to stay on the ship. There are illegal things that happen. There are bad things that happen on a ship and don't need to stay on a ship. That's the story that I'm going to share with you today. Uh, I'm also going to share a couple of experiences here in a second of things that I've seen that did not need to stay on the ship and you'll have an opportunity to do so as well. Long story short, why do I bring this up? There are things that happen on a ship that are illegal against the law. And there are things that happen that when passengers get back home, they are tried for. A Louisiana man and his wife recently cruised on the Carnival of Valor, a short cruise from New Orleans, visited Mexico. While they were on board, there was domestic violence that took place. Uh, the man was reported uh, punching, uh, pushing, and kicking his wife. The man went to court uh, because of this. It was a bad situation. The man was found guilty. He pled guilty. And yesterday he was tried and sentenced to 60 months in jail. That did not need to stay on a cruise ship. If you see something that takes place on a cruise ship that isn't right, if you see something that takes place where someone's in an unfortunate situation, they need help, say something. It will not stay on the ship unless sometimes we don't report it and it stays on a ship. I've seen some crazy things happen on ships over the years. I've seen things that I've laughed at and it's like, yep, that's staying on the ship. You know, that person wouldn't act like that when they're at home. And then I've seen things too that are illegal, things that did not need to stay on a ship. I remember one time being in an elevator corridor on a carnival ship and there's a man and a woman arguing, going back and forth and they were both upset. They were, they were both upset and barking at each other. And I'm thinking, boy, that's this ain't going to be good. You know, they, they have a disagreement. But what happened next, I did not expect. The man reared back, laid out his girl, knocked her out, TKO. He then grabbed her arm and started to say, forget the elevators. I'm taking the stairs and started dragging her upstairs. That did not need to stay on the ship. I had to tell someone about that. Hey, we need some help here. Here's what happened. Hopefully there's cameras around, right? That did not need to stay on the ship. That was crazy. Here's the next thing I saw. One time I was on the Carnival Dream. I'll never forget it. It's got the, the dice uh, at the casino bar, you know, the dice decor at the bar. And I was watching. This man was upset. I don't know what happened to this man, but he was upset, as upset as could be. And he's, he is yelling, and I'm, I'm, I'm six or eight feet away. I think I was getting a drink at the bar. And I'm watching this guy, and he is livid. He is upset over something that took place. I don't know if he lost money. I don't know if he's something, something happened maybe with his girlfriend, wife. I, I don't know. But here's what he said. He said, I'm upset. I'm done. I can't take it anymore. He said, I'm ready to knock somebody out. <laughs> okay. He said, hey, next man that walks out of that bathroom, I'm knocking out. And I'm thinking, did I just hear that? This man say that whoever walks out of the bathroom could be a 60-year-old man, could be an 18-year-old kid becoming a man could be a crew member i can't let that take place so i had to say hey i don't know if this is real or not i don't know if he's really going to do this but here's what was said and someone stepped in things sometimes uh need to leave a cruise ship now these two individuals did things that they shouldn't have done the man never did hit someone coming out of the bathroom thank goodness the man that hit his wife i don't know whatever happened to that i hope they found him i hope something was done but sometimes things don't need to stay on a cruise ship. Have you witnessed anything when you've been on board a cruise ship that you thought, you know what, somebody needs to know about this? 
Share those experiences in the comment section below. These things happen from time to time. Let's move on to something iconic. Of course, we're talking about Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas. She is nearing completion. She is ahead of schedule. She doesn't sell until January of 2024, and she's looking good already. It seems like each and every week we find out more about the Icon of the Seas. We're starting to see pictures of the ship. We're finding out details of different experiences. And today we're sharing a dining experience with you. We already mentioned this before, the Empire Supper Club is going to be a specialty dining restaurant on board the Icon of the Seas. Of course, the Icon, the largest ship ever built is what she's going to be labeled and she is going to be. She's going to have seven pools, nine hot tubs, six water slides, eight neighborhoods, and over 20 places to eat. Some of those places are complimentary. They are included in the price of your cruise fare. Some are a la carte. They cost anywhere from 12 to 15, 18 dollars. And some are specialty dining restaurants that cost a pretty penny. We're finding out more about the Empire Supper Club for Royal Caribbean and what is all included in this experience. Listen to this. Royal Caribbean is sharing that guests need to go ahead and plan and put aside three hours to enjoy dinner at the Empire Supper Club, this New York themed eight course meal paired with cocktails and wine. It's going to be a great experience that's going to be limited. Only 38 people will enjoy this experience each evening. Only one sitting, three hour experience. The, the question that a lot of people have had is how much is it going to cost? You know, people thought that it would be about the price of specialty dining restaurants like Chops and others. It'd be about $60, $70. That's not the case at all. Royal Caribbean has not given us a final price yet, but we're starting to learn uh, about what that price, what it could be. Vicky Freed shared that the price should be somewhere around $200 per person. You heard that right, $200 per person. So for a couple to go out for a specialty dining experience, it's gonna be around 400, maybe up to $500 when you add in gratuities and something like that. $500 dinner, a three hour experience, enjoying eight courses, I don't know if I'm up to that. $500? I just went grocery shopping for the week, and groceries, of course, are up. A family of four, and we did not spend $500 on our entire grocery bill for the week. Can I justify $500 over a three-course experience? I don't know if that's the case. I enjoy specialty dining. Amanda and I go once or twice per cruise, but we don't spend $500. Let's think about this, Islanders. You're on the icon of the seas, the world's largest ship. There's more entertainment, more shows, more live music than anywhere else, any other vessel floating, literally. And you're going to spend three hours and up to $400, $500 on a dining experience that does nothing for me, but I promise you all 38 seats of this experience will be sold out every single night. I wonder if there's anyone watching Island Time, watching the show today that's interested in booking this experience. If it's something that you would be interested in, please share with us in the comment section below and let us know why. Why would you be inter interested in this three hour, $400 experience? Let us know it's not for me at all. There's too much to do on the cruise ship for me to devote three hours of my time uh, in the evenings. I enjoy hopping around from place to place and people watching and seeing shows. And I guess on a seven day cruise, you have enough time, but there's just so much to do, especially on what's gonna be the largest cruise ship. It's not for me, is it for you? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoy specialty dining on your cruise, that is the cruise news for today. I hope you enjoyed the show. If so, Give us a like. It takes just a second to give us a like and it helps us out so much. We hope, that, of course, that you enjoyed the show. Leave your comments, your thoughts in the comment section below. We will see you tomorrow right here on Island Time.